Hi, I'm Shofir Rahman from Sultan Qaboos University. Today we are going to listen to Professor Niranjan. He has been working at the University of Reading, UK for more than 35 years. He is a fellow of the Institute of Food Science and Technology, a past president of the International Society of Food Engineering, and editor-in-chief of Food and Byproducts Processing, and editor of scientific reports. He is on the editorial board in many food-related journals. I am not giving his prolific achievements, rather appreciating his enormous support to the global food engineering profession. I am sure everyone as a food engineer is going to enjoy his talk. Greetings from the University of Reading in United Kingdom. Today I'll share with you some of my thoughts on what food engineering ought to be in the 21st century. But let me go back to the last century. In the last century, food engineering gained recognition as an academic discipline in the 1950s, and this was much later than other branches of engineering like mechanical, electrical, chemical, etc. Food engineering started as a subject taught within food science and food technology programs, and food engineering teachers were essentially trained themselves in other branches of engineering, say chemical, mechanical, and agricultural engineering. As a consequence, food engineering became a subset of food technology. Not only that, food engineering for all practical purposes became a B-team of other engineering disciplines. And this is certainly not good, good enough for the 21st century. So what is food engineering in this day and age? Just as any other branch of engineering, food engineering is about being able to design, but not just design, but design using mathematical and quantitative principles. Then comes the logical question, what does a food engineer design? Does a food engineer design a process or does the engineer design a product? And the first thing to note here is that this is not a binary argument. Both process and product are important because they are two sides of the same coin. In the past, process, and process design was the emphasis, but it is not the case today. Today, the product is just as important as the process, if not more important. Therefore, food engineering is about process and product design using mathematical and quantitative uh, methods. So you may ask, or you may wonder, what is engineering in the context of product development and design? Normally, product, product ideas or product concepts evolve from either market analysis or consumer analysis. No. So you have a brief, and when you have a brief, engineers can take the brief and source the materials sustainably, both in terms of quality and quantity. Engineers can also design transformation processes which have the lowest environmental legacy. Engineers can also consider in their product design things like material and energy requirements, product and process safety, both taking systems approach or other approaches. They can also consider product quality as described in the brief and uh, product efficacies as well as well-being aspects, which are becoming extremely important in this day and age. And lastly, engineers can also think about packaging for maintaining packet, uh, product integrity during transportation as well as during shelf storage. And here again, they can also embed a low environmental le legacy approach. So, for this day and age, the hypothesis would be that process, product design has to be complemented with process design. Otherwise, the product cannot be made. A process design on its own without reference to a product is totally meaningless. In a nutshell, process design meant 
to realize a product in quantity, quality, and efficacy is at the heart of food engineering design. Therefore, I believe that food product realization engineering is what we are talking about when it comes to defining food engineering. So based on this, I'll try and present a definition of food engineering. It may seem a bit awkward, but it encompasses and includes everything that I have said so far. Food engineering is the work of designing, formulating, and manipulating food products which have the de desired sensitivity, satiety, health, and well-being responses, and developing across various operational scales designs for the lowest environmental impact processing, packaging, and storage systems, which are capable of realizing the products and the product attributes. This may sound a bit awkward and long, but this is what food engineering is all about. Then comes the question, what is the difference between food engineering and food technology? The most important difference is that engineering is about conceptual design, whereas food technology is about applying and implementing the design. Food engineers can and therefore should be able to conceptually design both products as well as processes and therefore Food product engineering and food process engineering will be two complementary parts of food engineering. Conceptual design must be mathematical and it is inherently quantitative. So what should you include in a food engineering program? Any program on food engineering should have something as described in this edifice. So there are five themes. One theme is food safety, quality, and formulation. The second theme is food structural engineering and sensory analysis. The third theme will, the theme will be how to realize the product and therefore food product realization engineering. And then what happens to the product? And that is they're looking at transport processes, etc., in the gastrointestinal tract looking at food metabolism, looking at satiety and health effects. And finally, the fifth theme will be environmental impact, food sustainability, and food security. So all these have to be taught within the context of an undergraduate program in food engineering. In order to teach these things, we also need core enabling subjects. And having taught these five themes, we also have to have courses which would enable a student to synthesize the knowledge that they have gained and integrate uh, the different themes because that's it's the it's in, it's only in an integrated version that they will be applying these things now what this will require is that we must expand the science base that is currently uh, you know being uh, imparted to under, to uh, sort of uh, you know undergraduates and pre uh, university students. The expansion of science base uh, means, in addition to engineering sciences, the students will need a broader understanding of biophysical sciences, biochemical sciences, as well, as well as health sciences. If we do this, we will also be able to better respond to the needs of 18-year-old university entrants. Current 18-year-olds find engineering subjects too dry and too tedious. We overload too much science and maths, even before students are able to see the big picture. So what happens is that we lose their interest. By looking at food engineering primarily as food product realization engineering, we would hopefully enable them to see the bigger picture and appreciate why they are doing all the quantitative subjects. If you look at the evo evolution of learning methods, we started with conventional classroom and lab courses uh, and design exercises. But then, of course, in the 1990s, we had internet, and uh, internet began to play a, a significant role in food engineering education. Then, of course, we started developing simulations and computer-based training in food engineering. Today, of course, we have come to an era where artificial intelligence and uh, 
machine learning are directing a number of developments and therefore uh, I, it won't be too long before we have AI and uh, the other and similar tools being used for learning uh, food engineering. So what are the key take home messages? Food engineering education programs for this day and age require an expanded science base that will include health as well as environmental sciences. The program outcomes must also be uh, 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 enable students to design processes for realizing products as well as product attributes. And whatever you do, please don't make food engineering the B team of other engineering disciplines. Thank you very much.